This is Hoff. Just parked my car on this street. I don't know anything about this place other than where it is. Unlike like the member of Hoff is having to wait here at the uh, border on the train uh, because um, first of all the controls were done at the eastern on the eastern side but um, in 19, after 1990 after the uh, unification the railway timetables hadn't been sorted out the result of which was that the train used to wait in Hof railway station and I had an interrail card I remember once I wanted to go to Berlin <coughs> this would have been in oh, 92 even, it's that late and I had to pay as he said no it's only valid in the former west not valid in the east and I had to pay from Hof to Berlin that's all I know about this place I don't even know the street my car's parked in So this is the Michaelisbuche and next to that is Mediamarkt and Mediamarkt has a car park. Oh and there's somebody making a big mistake. Oh is it too late? Is it too late to warn them not to do it? Well anyway, uh, today's Saturday the 2nd of October 2010. If that's your wedding, um, don't say I didn't warn you. Anyway, I was, as I was saying, we have behind me Media Markt, and Media Markt you can usually get some free parking there should you be here. I don't know if there's free parking here. I stuck mine in the street, but uh, you can't. You got to pay on a Saturday morning, so if you need some free parking, you can go there. Also, there's a McDonald's up there as well. You probably park your car for nothing there as well. Uh, anyway, I like this very interesting sign thing because in many many places you have uh, these sort of signs. They have 11,760 kilometers to Buenos Aires. So there's uh, just mention that to my friend Ruben, who will possibly be watching this. There you are, there's Buenos Aires mentioned, and uh, South Pole's 15,600 kilometers, uh, whereas Jerusalem's only 2,816. So that's comparatively close. Um, Madrid, 1,639. Actually, it seems much further than I think about it. I mean, I should be able to do, just about do that on days drive. Theoretically, well, the motorway only we could do just about theoretically. Theoretically. But also, we have these uh, these signs here from other places. I find that that Lars of Tibet is probably a bit suspect to say the least and uh, mine coming around here uh, United States uh, it was uh, well Cincinnati settled in 1788 that's a load of rubbish I went there in 2000 so it should say settled 2000 alternatively it should say settled by whom I'm sure the Native Americans were there before 1788 uh, Las Vegas oh Kingman oh what a I was there last year I went to Taco Bell in Kingman. Anybody from Kingman sees this, there you are, you've got a mention in, uh, in Hof in Germany. Yeah, I went to Taco Bell and I talked to the girl there in, in the Taco Bell and she asked us to actually ring up, there was some, had to log on to some site or something and uh, I'm sure she was handing the things out. Ah, oh, so anyway, Grand Canyon, Moab, I don't know where that is, it's something in the Bible or, or something like that. Um, yeah, Los Angeles. Sunset Boulevard, what a dump. Hollywood Boulevard, I was really uh, disappointed when I was there. Oh, Skirnia Vita. Skirnia Vita. Often go there. Skov, I've never been there, but I have, I have been told it's a dump. So, uh, uh, Rostov on Don. I haven't been there, but a mate of mine went there, and he wasn't too impressed with it either. So, uh, not either, he wasn't too impressed with it. Maybe I would be impressed with it. I meant to go there in 2005, but I didn't get round there because it was too cold. It was in January. Oh, that Barbara Schoenberg looks like a bit of alright, in my opinion. 
And she's even saying that she was here on the 13th of February. Johns, aha, uh -huh. which it grows in in German, on the River Vistula. I've never been there actually, I've only, I've only been sort of through it. And the pond's got a very nice um, centre. There you are, and this is all in the same area here. Now, Torun, a uh, very attractive place in Poland. Torun in Poland. Homno, now there's a Homno with the death camp, which uh, I have. My uh, my films are well known for showing, and in fact I've shown a lot from the Helmno Death Camp. But this is the other Helmno, probably the one that's near uh, Gru Johns and Torun. Uh, I don't think they'll be putting up something like that, um, uh, advertising a small village. It's only known for a death camp. New mm. Megan mm. had Arnhem earlier. So there's a battles in 1944. I feel, when I'm walking down here, I feel very well travelled. Oh, Veronica Ferris is also not a bit of all right. Schwinter oh, Wojciech, Schwinter Martin. Prestwick. Seventh. 1,115 kilometres from Prestwick. I went to Prestwick Airport, they call it Glasgow Airport, it was a bit of a joke. Um, it's nowhere near Glasgow. It took me about two hours to drive it. Well, maybe I'm exaggerating a bit, but it took me a long time. Uh, Prague. Elsnitz, that's near here. Oh, yeah, I've been there. <gasps> Oh, wonderful, 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 uh... <laughs> Don't follow the uh, thing completely around. Ah. Ponferrada. North Italy. I've been there. It's the same one, because that doesn't look very Italian, that sign. Hey, that bad beer night, though, it's a right con. I mean, I went there and it, was, it, was, it wasn't bad at all. In fact, it was quite nice. Yeah. Mm. Oh, hey, this is definitely worth seeing if you're, if you're coming here. Definitely worth a look at it. And to come here and have your photograph taken next to your hometown. So, um... Kreuzberg, Bridge of Science in Berlin. Kreuzberg Strasse, it's in West Berlin. I've already left uh, on my will um, to have a, uh, a sign, a, a chair put up in... Uh, in North Shields, overlooking the River Tynes, people can sit on it and the dogs can urinate on it. I'll have to have, uh, leave in my, my will, a sign. A sign here for concert. Brig, been there. Switzerland. Pot for On the streets I occasionally live in. Hilpostein, very attractive, far rare in town. This one, Zolkens Bezerk. Okay, that is super attractive here, well done Hof. It's worth coming to Hof to see this. Halloween. <laughs> um, the 
which is uh, the adjective, Malouin is the adjective of a uh, place in France, but Saint, Saint Malo. And Saint Sony comes from Saint Malo and Malouin. That's where it's in Spanish Malvinas comes from. Anybody's running a business with a name like that, it must be good. Catastrophe. Uh, ought to give him some business, or her, as the case may be. Oh, would have done. It's, it's closed. This shop here in Hof, I walked in. First of all, I went. I looked at this. Here is Jakob's Imbis, which is actually selling pierogi. Don't know if they're Russian or Polish, so I didn't try because there was no one there. But there may be someone there now. That is the cheapest Russian shop I have seen anywhere. I came here wanting to get some German milk product, um, and I end up with a uh, you know, moya semi, uh, semilla, persik, yabolko. Uh, so my family is the name of the product, and it's uh, persik. What's the name? It's apricot and uh, apple uh, for one euro nine, which is what forty rubles. 1 euro 9, yeah, 40 rubles. Um, 65 or something in Moscow, as I, as if I remember rightly. Really compact, much, much cheaper. So there we have a, a Russian um, pierogi. Uh, looks nothing like a Polish one. It's very good. It's better than anything I've had in Russia. And the, the price, 90 cents, uh, about 35 less than 35 rubles. So I think that's a very, very good. I'm following that top class pierogi uh, with a cheborok, uh, cheborek or something. I don't know what's in it, but uh, I hadn't heard of it, so I ordered it. And uh, uh, it just came out the uh, the frying uh, frying pan, or the fryer, I should say. And uh, it looks all right, that looks pretty good. Unfortunately, it started to uh, rain, so uh, it's not much fun in walking around in the rain, particularly if you're uh, probably going to end up sleeping in the car. So I'm going to make my way back to the car. I haven't seen much of Hof. I mean, the signs point that it's in this direction, the, uh, the city centre, but I must have driven through it and I can't say I noticed it. No, I mean, this, this may be the most interesting thing in Hof. I mean, maybe, maybe people come for kilometres around to see this place here. That apart, that Russian place down there, the Russian Imbis, Jakob's Imbis, is top class. And, as is that sign thing there, so I would say it's worth coming off the motorway just to go to Jacob's Indies. Oh, and see the sign thing as well.